A bag contains four white counters, six black counters, and 15 green counters. What is the probability of drawing? And then you're given these scenarios. So quick reminder of probability. The probability of any event is going to be the number of successes in that event divided by the total number of outcomes. Okay, so first let's figure out what the total number of outcomes is. So in this case, we want to look for the total number of counters. All right, so we have four white and six black and five green. So that's going to be a total of 15 counters. Okay, part A says, what is the probability of selecting a white counter or a green counter? Now, what does the word or mean? The word or means plus, we're increasing the number of successes. But if you recall the formula, the probability of A or B is going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. If we double count a particular outcome, then we have to make sure we subtract it once so we only count one and not double count. So in this case, event A is that we have a white counter. So how many white counters do we have? So we have the probability of getting a white counter, the word or is plus, the probability of getting a green counter, minus the probability of getting a white and a green counter. Okay, so in this case, we have four white counters out of a total of 15. And then we have... Uh, five green counters out of a total of 15. Now, do we have any counters that are both white and green? We don't. They're either white or they're green, but they're not white and green at the same time. So that'll be zero out of 15. If you add these together, you got four plus five is nine. Nine minus zero is nine. So our answer is going to be nine out of 15. And if you convert this to a decimal, we're going to take nine, divide that by 15. That'll be 0 0.6. Okay, part B is the same thing, black counter or a green counter. So we want to find out what is the probability of getting a black counter. Uh, the word or is plus the probability of getting a green counter minus the probability of getting a black and a green counter. Okay, so black. We have six black counters out of a total of 15. Um, then we, we have the word or is plus. How many green counters do we have? We have five green counters out of a total of 15. And then minus how many are black and green? We have no, that none that are about black and green at the same time. So six plus five, this is going to be 11 out of 15. Now, if you convert this to a decimal, we got 11 divided by 15. Uh, that's going to be 0.7333. All right, and then last one, it says, what is the probability of sele selecting not a green counter? Okay, so think about it like this. We don't want the green counters. So we want anything that's not green. So we want the black plus the white. So we have, uh, so in this case, a success is if you get a black counter or if you get a, if you get a white counter, because remember, we don't want green. So how many black counters do we have? We have six black counters out of 15. Uh, how many whites do we have? We have four white counters out of 15. None of them are black and white at the same time. So 6 plus 4, that'll be 10 out of 15. Okay, if we convert that to a decimal, that'll be 0.6667. The other way of doing that is we know we have a total of 15 counters, and we don't want the green ones. So we just cut out the green ones, and that'll give you 10 out of 15, which is the exact same thing. Suppose a math class contains 27 students, 15 females, three of whom speak French, and 12 males, two of whom speak French. Compute the probability that a randomly selected student speaks French given that the student is a male. So you want to find the probability that if you select a random student, they speak French given that that student is a male. So we always start with the given. Okay, but before this, I'm going to make a little table. So here's what we have. We have, uh, we have females, we have males, um, and then 
they either uh, speak French or they don't speak French. Okay, so how many females do we have uh, that speak French? It says out of the 15 females, three of them speak French, which means 12 of them don't for a total of 15. Okay, we have 15 females, three of whom speak French and the other ones don't. So 12 of them don't speak French. We have 12 males, two of whose, who speak French. So out of the males, we have a total of 12 males and two of them speak French, which means the other 10, they do not speak French. So the question is, what is the probability that a randomly selected student speaks French given that the student is a male? Now, when you say given, it means that we're only choosing from the males. So this becomes your denominator. So how many males do we have? We have a total of 12 males. So our denominator is just going to be whatever the given is. We have 12 males, so our denominator is going to be 12 since we're only choosing from the 12 males. Now, of the 12 males, how many of them speak French? So of these 12 males, two of them speak French, and that'll be 2 out of 12.